Christian, generally speaking, of course I'm in agreement with God's ethics, biblical ethics, the biblical moral code, and politics are intertwined with morality. Because when we're dealing with politics, we're dealing with laws, we're dealing with policies, and these policies affect people. Whenever a person puts a policy in place, it can do good things to people, it can do bad things to people, it can do right by people, it can do wrong by people. And so morality and politics are very intertwined. And it is important that as Christians, we're able to, um, we're, I would say, let me say it this way, as Christians, we should not disassociate our pol political philosophies and beliefs from our moral code because of how intertwined politics are with morality. Like when we discuss abortion, obviously, it's a moral debate, it is a moral argument. That's why it's so fiery and it gets so much attention and uh, it's very heated on both sides because morality is involved. Um, and the Christian's opinion on these political issues should be informed by scripture. And so choosing to speak about these subjects is not straying away from theology. Theology is very involved because once morality is involved, God is involved because God loves people and God doesn't like when bad things are done to people because God loves people, right? Whether the bad thing is spiritual or natural or social or political or economic, it doesn't matter. God loves people. He doesn't compartmentalize our lives and say, I only care when something spiritually bad is happening to you. And then if something politically bad is happening to you, I don't care. The Bible says that God defends the rights of the poor. He's not talking about the spiritual rights, the natural rights, the political, social rights of the poor. And so God is not just considered or considerate of our social or our spiritual welfare rather, but he's also considerate of our political and social welfare.